How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to free up a ton of your iPhone storage. Take a look at this with just one simple trick. In the best part, you won't need to delete any of your data and it's completely free. Let's get started. Okay guys, so all you have to do is open up your settings and then right here at the top tap on search and then search for photos just like that. Tap on photos. And right here is where the magic will happen because we're actually going to use this feature called shared albums to upload to send all of our photos and videos to iCloud but that's the trick it won't use our iCloud storage it won't count against your iCloud storage so you won't have to pay for iCloud plus and you won't have to worry about storage at all all so then after uploading all of your photos and videos to iCloud you'll be able to delete them from your iPhone and of course free up a ton of your storage now let me show you how you can do this step by step and the first thing you have to do is actually disable iCloud photos if you have it on right so if you're using iCloud photos you're gonna need to disable it simply because iCloud photos is a feature that actually counts against your iCloud storage so when you use iCloud photos and you send your photos and videos to iCloud you're actually using your iCloud storage all right so you're gonna need to disable it because as I've mentioned with the shared albums it won't use your iCloud storage, all right? So disable iCloud photos, enable shared albums. And then after that, all you have to do really is go ahead here, open up your photos app, and then you're gonna actually scroll all the way down to this terrible new iOS 18 interface. And by the way, if you don't like this new interface, there's a dedicated video right here on the channel. I'll leave a card right here, link in the description, where you can actually make the Photos app look way better, just like before, okay? So go ahead and check it out. Now, let's go ahead here where we can see shared albums, tap on create, and then we're gonna create a new shared album. And the idea here, guys, is we're gonna simply get all of our photos and videos from our library and then add them to a shared album, which will be right there in the cloud, but as I said, without using your iCloud storage, completely free, okay? So the way you wanna organize this is up to you, so you can actually add all of your photos and videos to just one single shared album, or if you want to, you can separate by year, you can separate by place. So it's up to you how you want to organize this. I'm going to separate by year. So I'm going to put here uh, 2025, okay, 2025, just to make it more organized. And then I'm going to tap on done. And right here, I have my shared album 2025. I can tap on it. And of course, it's empty, but I can tap on plus and then I can add my photos and videos to this shared album so let's go ahead and select here a few let's say here like uh, 33 it, it doesn't it doesn't matter the number okay so go ahead here and add and then it's gonna add here to my shared album of course you can create a comment you can put a cover you can customize it all later okay I can tap on post and as you can see it's publishing and then as you can see I have here all of those photos and videos right just 33 as you can see created by me you can view how you want to organize it like a summary or like all of them it's up to you okay but for us that's it our shared album right here 2025 33 items and then here we have the magic we can go ahead here come back to our library so those are my photos and videos right we can select those 33 items so let's select the exact same number 33 there we go and then we can go ahead and erase, we can delete all of those items, as you can see. And of course, we can even go ahead, scroll down right here, keep scrolling until we get here to our recently deleted. So from our trash, use Face ID, select, tap here, delete all, delete from this iPhone. So I have deleted all of those items, as you can see, I don't have them on my phone anymore. But if I scroll down right here on my shared albums, they're here. So I have all the 33 items right here, perfectly just like they were before. And if I come back to my photo library, I don't have them anymore. As you can see, they're not here. They're simply not here. 
So then this is the trick. You can go ahead and use your shared albums to send all of your photos and videos to iCloud. It won't count against your iCloud storage. So you can do this for free. You don't need to pay for iCloud Plus. And of course, since we have deleted from our library, it's gonna free up our storage. So coming back here to our settings and then general in iPhone storage, it's gonna clear our storage. Naturally, this process takes a while, all right? So as you go ahead and add your photos and videos to your shared album, it will take a while, okay, before it actually free up the storage, maybe a couple hours, maybe a couple days, but then that's how you can use it. One final thing before we wrap up this video, please keep in mind that the shared albums feature will actually sometimes, it may, reduce the quality of the original photos and the original videos, okay? So if you really do care about maintaining the original full quality of your files, please keep that in mind because once you actually delete them uh, from your phone and then they're just in your shared albums, it may actually reduce the quality a little bit. So again, if you do care about your photos in full quality, I do recommend that you use iCloud Photos, which is a paid service, but it will maintain the full quality. This option is an alternative, completely free, but you may lose quality on photos and videos. And lastly, please keep in mind that there are some limits on the shared albums, not really limits on the full amount of photos and videos you can use. It's completely limitless, okay? So it doesn't matter how many photos and videos you have, but really some hourly and daily limits. So the amount of photos you can actually post every hour or every day. It's a lot, but there are some limits. So I'm gonna leave it right here, a page from Apple support with all of that information as well, okay? So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you like this video, guys. Bye-bye.